How's it going guys? My name is Graham and welcome to the brand new game Fear and Hunger. It is available now over on Itch. That's why I'm playing it. I'll have a link down below. I'll also link to the Steam page. It's not actually out on Steam yet. It's supposed to be coming like later this month. This is some sort of freaky ass combination of like a horror game and a dungeon crawler. It looks weird and disturbing. The art style is totally messed up. Everything about it is super gory and hyper realistic in like kind of a sickening way. But they do promise that it's not just shock value stuff, that it really does service the story and play into the narrative. And I've heard nothing but good things. But this is my big warning at the top of the series. I'm not going to do it every episode. But like if you're squeamish at all, if you don't like any of that violence or anything, like this guy's slitting his own wrist and throwing up peace signs. Like, like that, and that that lady's like stroking a, a baby skull or something. Like this, this shit's gonna get weird. So, fair warning on that. If if that's not your jam, then maybe give it a try. Maybe maybe it's not as extreme as I think it's gonna be. But I I do want to warn people of it because I think it's gonna be messed up. You get to run around as. Oh my god, why is it squelching, squishy gut noises? But you play as all four characters, I'm pretty sure. All four of these guys are going to be on our adventures. We have the Mercenary, Thief, Assassin, whatever brings the silver to the table. Mercenary is known for his dirty tactics in battle and crafty ways of gaining the advantage. I think there's also going to be a lot of death in this game. It's a very hard, <laughs> hard game. It's a short game overall, but it's so... Uh, difficult and like a lot of learning and strategizing and everything that it's probably going to take longer than I would expect. I, I don't know. I don't really know. I don't know what to expect. I've been trying to go in as blind as possible. Knight, with pure and righteous ways of the warrior, having been trained for combat since a child, Knight excels in close combat and with different weaponry. Dark Priest, bearing no burden or such things as morality and ethics, gives Dark Priest an edge in blood magic. However, devoting oneself to magic has left his physical body weak. Yeah, he's he's gaunt as all hell. He's got like a weird, narrow-ass face and very little grooming overall. Very skeletal-looking hands. And the Outlander, hardened in the freezing winds of the north. Outlander is the, an epitome of survival. He knows all the tricks to stay alive, even in the most impossible of situations. Uh, you get to name your name. You get to name your characters, and so Mercenary uh, is is going to be Doctor Sneaks. Oh, I only get to pick the one character. I guess I'm the mercenary then, <laughs> and I'm gonna be Doctor Sneaks. Beware, violence, gore, all that stuff. Uh, it's it's gonna be kind of a weird game. For some reason, I thought you played as all four characters. I maybe would have rethought that. I would have picked someone else. I guess I'm playing as the mercenary. I'm kind of like anxious about starting this one because I don't do well with horror games. I don't know if this is like jump scare horror or keep you up at night and you're never gonna get a good night's sleep again style horror. I think that's maybe more the way this one's leaning is like, you will never sleep again. <laughs> so we'll see how that goes. Difficulty, definitely going normal. Play intro, yeah, I wanna, I wanna get the full story. Apparently there's quite a bit of story to be soaked up and taken in. You were born with the soul of the endless that makes you yearn for freedom and forces you to push your creativity to its limits. You put your creativity to the test in the most harshest of environments. You were born and soon abandoned in the capital of the eastern sanctuaries, Jetea. Jetea. <laughs> you had to choose at a very young age to either become a pickpocket, a burglar, or try to struggle and lead an honest life. Ooh, straight up burglar seems extreme. Honest life seems like you're just in a harsh conditions like this. You're not going to get very far. Do we just go straight up burglar? Do we just be, right, let's go, let's just be full up villainous. Oh, I heard there's heads and tails mechanics. I have no idea what they're going to do then. I'll go tails. That looks, those look like eyeballs, which are on people's heads, but that seemed like a good thing. Your life spent learning thievery certainly didn't go to waste. You learned to live with constant fear and danger over the years. The crude streets of Detaya teach you valuable lessons. There's a little bit of grammar, small grammar issues here and there. You learned lockpicking. As you grew older, you took part in various mercenary armies and learned the dirtiest tricks to stay alive. You were taken in by a notorious veteran highwayman, and you joined his little band of criminals and ex-soldiers. 
During one of your many raids, your brigade got ambushed. The odds were seriously against you. You could have just abandoned your comrades and kept your life, or you could have fought to the last breath. Uh, I may be a scoundrel and a burglar, but I'll fight for those who are on my side. Not many survived the ambush, but that just meant that the mission rewards got less takers. <laughs> you were one of the lucky ones. You got 30 silver coins. No coin flip on that. You traveled across the lands in your raids and eventually settled down in the kingdom of Rondon, where silver was loose as long as you were up for getting your knife dirty. Rondon is a much easier word to say. I'm glad we settled there. One day you got an ominous task from the officials of the kingdom of Rondon. You are to be paid well in silver to get a captain of a fabled mercenary army out of the dungeons of Rondon itself. From the dungeons of fear and hunger, the morbid place has been used as a wartime prison by the kingdom, and for some reason, they need an outside sword like yourself to infiltrate their very own stronghold. Something is clearly not right about this mission, and you have felt nauseous since the moment you agreed on the job. But you were short on silver, and the reward is all that matters in the end. Why'd you go spending that 30 silver all in one place? You spent your last night in the kingdom? Oh, probably a brothel. <laughs> go drinking and getting laid. Those could be two separate tasks. I get to do both at once? That's a great last night. Stock up on food. Stock up on healing items. Rush straight for your mission. Drunk and laid. You get a wine vial, a bottle of whiskey, and an ale. And laid. But that's not something you can take with you. Oh, no. <laughs> you also get an itch in your groin area. Gross. I didn't want to start the game out with crabs. That doesn't seem like it would be advantageous in any way. The Dungeons of Fear and Loathing. Fear, fear and Loathing. Nope, that's something else. The Fear and Hunger stand in front of you. Oh, this horse. This horse got messed up. A dead horse is lying down there. Maybe we give it a few qu quick, quick beats. Beat down. You hear distant barking from afar. Just in case you weren't sure what distant meant, it was distant and afar. It's about as, as removed of barking as it could possibly be. Oh, this seemed like it was the actual dungeon, so I, I was going to go to the side thing there. I do want to explore a little bit, just in case I can find uh, anything useful. You find rotten meat. Well, I won't go hungry now, at least. Red herb. You search for anything useful. Worm juice. That's a good one. That's something you definitely want. Dirt. Oh, thank God we got a pocket full of dirt. I hope I'm not risking, like, a dog coming. These dogs are probably coming to chew up this dead horse or something, and I'm kind of putting myself... The barking is getting closer. Okay. Yeah, yeah. I, I just want to rummage around just a little bit more, okay? It's definitely getting closer. It's kind of wigging me out a little bit. But there's still barrels to be looked at. I can't investigate. Oh, you search the barrel. The hounds are coming. You find a bag of wheat flour. Jesus Christ. Okay, 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 okay. I'm getting out of here. Jesus. That's terrifying. They sound so ravenous. I don't want to get caught up in that shit. They're probably just eating the horse, but like... That was kind of wigging me out. It's... That's tense. Uh, you got some cheese. That's like the best thing I've ever found. I found it in this dank-ass dungeon. What, what all do I have here? Dr. Sneaks, the zoophobia. Is he just scared of animals? Because rightfully so, it would seem. Hunger 7, body 100, mine 99. I gotta keep track of all that. No weapon, no armor. Maybe should have been doing things like getting uh, supplies for the mission rather than getting laid. Too late. Too late to worry about that now. Uh, you can just eat flour. I wouldn't recommend it. That's not a great meal by itself. You usually want to round things out with a little bit of fruit and vegetables, maybe. Disgusting piece of meat. Its use is, use is questionable. Causes food poisoning. Dried up cheese. Pretty bad smell, but it just gets better with age, right? Old whiskey helps you keep sane in ever-pressing darkness. Uh, murky ale. Keeping sane. Looks like feces. Smells like feces. But why would anyone be carrying this? It must just be dirt. Walks like a duck. Qu quacks like a duck. Definitely not feces. A vial of old murky wine. Drink it to dim your senses and fear. Nice silver. Herb with a neutral smell. That's a, it's just a weird description of a smell, you know? Things either usually smell good or bad. You're never like, mm, neutral. <laughs> a vial full of mild poison that is said to kill parasites and worms inside the host body. 
Oh, okay. You probably get a little bit sick, but maybe you cleanse yourself a little bit while you're at it, too. Uh, recipes, items, weapons, armors for crafting. Ooh, yeah, so you will eventually have different party members. So right now I can just look at Dr. Sneaks and see what he's got. He can run, he can talk, and he can lockpick. <laughs> what a what a wonderful array of skills you've started with, Dr. Sneaks. Dried mushrooms, don't mind if I do. A stench of death and gore fills the damp air. I'm concerned about what the first battle here is going to look like. Blue herb. Anything useful? Iron arrow. That's not bad. Uh, some weapons of any kind would be great. I'm going to ignore... I was going to ignore the big pentagram or whatever in the, in the side there. But now there's just like a, a pile of corpses or something. So maybe there's no escaping. Carrots. Dope. There might... Ooh, salami. There might be no escaping the horrors of this world. I don't know what that long-legged freak thing is. Maybe I should have just stayed up top of the dogs. Might have been safer. Maybe I could have recruited the dogs onto my side. There's a body on the ground. Seems like a sacrificial gift for the older gods. I, uh... Oh, there's more. There's more of a creepy thing walking around. But I want to... I need to see if I can find, like, a barrel. It doesn't pause... The game world when I go digging around in barrels or anything. I just want to see if I can find a weapon of any kind. I don't want to go in with nothing. I'm going to get stomped so hard. Shit. Maybe I accidentally ran straight down into the dungeon where what I should have done was going into the, the big castle area first. Maybe there would have been things to grab there before I kind of threw myself down into the pits. I may have... I may have made the risk much higher by by going at it this way regular meat not poison so hunger you can see the bar going down but the value going up so higher hunger is bad as you would expect you there happen to have a sword or anything pile of dead bodies in various states of rot i guess you weren't willing to dig through it oh shit why can't oh god there's those planks that i couldn't walk through uh, I'm not going to be able to dodge around that guy. Shit, I'm getting quartered. Ah! <laughs> that was well done. Good, good evasion strategies there, dude. Oh, you can't check the big one. Glass vial. That's not what I'm looking for, man. That's not iron arrow. You kind of need a bow for that sort of stuff, don't you? It's not going to do much good. Cabbage. Oh, thank God I can just step right over top of that. I was worried that wasn't going to be an option. Various states of rot. These fleas seem bad. Seem like they could, like, make me sick or something if I spend too much time in that. I'm gonna zip past again. One of these rooms. Oh, yes. I'm awesome. Okay, but interact with it, please. The armory has uh, miscellaneous armor pieces lying around in various conditions. Search. Definitely search it. Oh, shit. Maybe I should always pick tails. Maybe I just commit to one really hard. I think that's tails. Unfortunately, everything here seems to be in too bad of shape to use. You can't can't double check it here, hey? Shit. Oh, okay, there's another thing I can search though. Always tails then. Tails forever. We're committing to it hundred percent. God damn it. <laughs> this is bad. This is bad. You can start your you can set yourself up to be so boned in this game. I don't know if uh checking Oh shit, what the hell just happened? I'm not dead forever because of that, am I? Flip side basement? Did I just get uh, stranger things? Am I in, in the upside down right now, essentially? Oh, fuck. Everything's so dark. Gah! No, I don't like that. Get me out of here. What the hell? This is not cool, man. Fill, fill with wine. Yes. Uh, how, how, our mind is faring better than I would have guessed. Alright, I'm prepared. I'm prepared for more sketchy shit to happen now. Now, now I'm aware that that sort of shit's gonna happen now and again. I don't like this. That thing's gonna make us go insane in no time. We're not gonna make it through this dungeon with all that going on. Uh, I would feel so much more comfortable if I had any sort of weapon whatsoever. Can't interact with the sarcophagus or anything like that. Jesus. At least nothing's trying to kill me. Um, well, that's not guaranteed, is it? Nope. The Black Witch is floating in the air ominously. Wow, that thing looks kind of cool. But it's kind of terrifying. And I'm pretty sure all I can do is punch right now. Oh, right. You can target specific limbs. 
you can punch it just right in the head. Just give it a few quick head punches. Maybe I try and disable your weapon arm. What are my skills? I can talk to it. <laughs> I could sometimes get you out of uncomfortable situations. I got to say, I'm pretty uncomfortable right now, but I do not think that's what's going to gonna win the day here. I'm going to punch you in the head. What do you think about that, witch? Oh, I have a sword or something. I think I missed. I missed. You can't stab me and black orb me in the same turn. Dr. Sneaks was defeated. What the shit? I got mangled. Starting with no weapons or anything was kind of uncool. That's it. That character's gone. <laughs> what the hell? All right, we're sending the doctor's uh, son down to the dungeon. He never had time to go to medical school. He's just going to be Sneaks Jr. I learned some lessons here. Stop and search things as much as possible, but be quick about it. But also watch your step and... Uh, uh, avoid everything, but also prepare yourself for anything. I don't know, man. The balance here is going to be tricky. I don't know what just happened. I think I accidentally said I was a pickpocket this time, but I learned steal. I, uh, I accidentally was clicking past things and, and, and skipped that. Fight to the last breath again. 30 silver coins. I'm not going to get laid this time. Do you know what? No, I think that was a good idea, because you end up with all the liquor and everything that keeps you sane, and I think that's going to be important. I went and searched for a bunch of stuff, found uh, quite a few useful things, more gold. I'm going to check out the castle area this time, level 1 entrance. So this is just an alternate way of accessing all of this? You feel your sanity decline with every passing moment. Oh shit, so is this... Is this the scarier place to be? Seems like it was kind of a little scarier, a little sketchier last time. An unnatural hunger begins draining your strength. The air stands still and has an ominous odor to it. So yeah, basically you're just gonna be full of fear and hunger as soon as you walk into this place. It's just, it really lives up to its name. Door seems to be open, but there's no telling what's on the other side. I think it's worth it. We gotta find some useful items here. Okay, I wasn't sure if I'd be able to like cross that. If I see anything though, I'm bailing. I'm getting the hell out of here. I don't have lock picking anymore. Force it? Shit. The wooden door stands imposing in front of you? Oh, good. Okay, okay. This time I'm just fighting a door. The door is not going to fight back, right? I'm just trying to bust down the door. It's too strong for you. Oh. Okay, I didn't realize I was going to only get like the one chance like that, you know? Bone on the ground. Some supplies. Blueberries. How about a sword, maybe? A pine cone. That's the type of weapon I was looking for. That was what I needed. So I do start with a short sword and a leather vest. I do have some things. I wasn't sure if that was just a default attack animation that happened to have a sword in hand, you know? Now, now I'm feeling more like in that last run. I did have a weapon to defend myself with. I just was probably nowhere near strong enough to survive that black witch. That was too much too soon. Hopefully I can kind of gear up a little more this time and be a little more prepared for battle before I I go into anything that intense. A ritual circle is drawn and carved here. Sacrifice. Maybe I can just sacrifice a pine cone? You don't have anyone to sacrifice? I can sacrifice a person? Show. Pray. Pray? Which god do you pray? Grogoroth? Sylvian? Or Almer? I'll go with Almer. Was that the right choice? You finish praying. And that's the end of it. Sacrificial circle for the older gods. To appease gods or gain favor from them, this is the place to offer your gratitude. Grogroth, the destroyer of men, yearns for human sacrifices. Sylvian, the god of fertility and love, wishes nothing more than an act of love in their name. Oh, that's the symbol on the tails of the coins, too, is carved into the ground there. I'll show love. You don't have anyone to make love to but yourself. Oh, what? Loving yourself produces no effects on ritual circle. I just jerked off on this circle? What the hell? If there was another party member... Oh, fuck. Okay, if there was another party member, we could have banged on that circle to, to make that one jogs god stoked. I didn't realize that's what it was looking for. I thought it just wanted us to be, like, happy and friendly and, like, give a, a big hug or something. There's a statue depicting the new gods here. Someone has written, save us here with blood. 
save the, the gods or the person, probably. I don't know how much I want to zigzag through all these tunnels. Someone's written notes here. Death is the answer. Not always. Dusty old books fill the bookshelf. Some of them seem partly rotten and moldy. I'll search. I'm doing a heads run. We're heads only this time around because I accidentally did it in the intro. Shit. Nothing to be found. Nothing of interest. Maybe to you, one man's trash is another man's dusty old book. <sighs> Come on, man. That's not 50-50. I'm getting robbed here. A study, studies of Sylvian. That was the, the god who likes people to have sex. What do you have to say? How long are these books? Studies of Sylvian. Wow, it's just a bunch of boobies. <laughs> Sylvian is the goddess of love, lust, and creation. She created men and women at the dawn of time. From the very first moments, she loved her children greatly. Over time, her love blossomed into a more obsessive form, and she would try to guide her children more and more. You guys should have sex on my circles. <laughs> Once she realized her children would never be able to return the same amount of affection back to her, her love took a more twisted form. Sylvian would shape mankind more to her liking and more into her image with her gift to people. The love magic, otherwise known as the flower magic. For a brief moment in ancient history, mankind fell into a craze of fleshy delights. As a synchronized mass, sea of naked people in the middle of coitus would pulsate and waste their days. Jesus, this god took things too far. Doesn't sound fun anymore. <laughs> there are still cults dedicated to Sylvian to this day, but many believe she left mankind behind a long time ago. Hmm. I don't know how hard I commit to reading some of the lore books. I think that sort of stuff is pretty interesting. I don't know if I always want to stop and read everything. There's a map showing distribution of army units on the table. You find a list of inmates among the other documents and papers. The shelf of mini miscellaneous items, glass vial. Um, oh, a, a huge blood stain on the floor. I got that ogre creeping around still. Do I bother reading a list of inmates? Let's quickly see if it's like worthwhile or interesting in any way. A list of inmates, you can't make any sense of the handwriting. Pretty well not worth it overall is what you're saying. Ooh, I don't know if I checked this box. Nothing left. Don't You can't like pry apart any of that. I don't know how much of this is randomized. Oh, you're starting to feel hungry already? Aw, oh, come on. You're way, you're way, way far away from that. Sneaks. <laughs> that was the name I picked when I thought I was going to individually name every character. I kind of thought that, you know, that would give them all names based on their style of fighting. Almost as a reminder to myself, but awful smell comes from all the rotten meat on the table. Plates are covered with maggots. It does make you wonder if someone actually eats this stuff. After all, why have them here otherwise? Take some. Take a little bit. It's soft and squishy, barely able to hold together. One of the maggots runs up your arm. Ew. That was it? It just wanted to make sure I felt extra grossed out? Various rotten foods? Egg! In edible condition. Right on. Gotta find those Easter eggs whenever they come up. <laughs> I could make an Easter egg video on this, on this game. The first one being egg. Literal egg. Empty bucket. Can I pick up that? Hmm. Look like a bottle of something that might be worth picking up. It is not. Old furnace. Smells of burnt flesh emanate from it. Gross. Uh, I'll light it up. And then can I cook? The fire is burning hot in the furnace. Grill the raw meat. Yes. Fire is burning hot in the surface. Grill raw meat. Yes. I must have had a few things of raw meat. And that's it then, is it? Where? Grilled meat. Grilled meat. That's pretty good. Piece of grilled meat, it's a huge junk that will surely satisfy your hunger. I think it means chunk. I usually don't eat junks of meat, but close enough. A crude kitchen table with lots of scratch and cut marks. It's pretty tainted. From the bottom shelf, you get some dried meat. Okay, we won't starve. Maybe we, maybe we quickly eat some like berries or something before I let it get way too out of control. Uh, goes without spoiling. Things are going to spoil over time. That sucks. How much, how much did that do? It took me from, it raised me by seven. So not great. Uh, egg, 
bird or lizard. Hard to say for sure. Also raises by seven, not a ton. I just don't know what the risks are of letting getting, letting things like your hunger get way too out of hand. So I want to try and stay on top of it to some extent. Hallways collapsed. Makes you wonder how the rest of the old fortress holds up. Do I want to bail on here? Like, am I wanting to go down the staircase? Is this just kind of an, uh, a warm-up area? Oh, shit. I didn't realize you could, like, alert things like that. It's faster than me. I have to fight it. Oh, it's very large. A prison guard with deformed body proportions appears. And it looks like he's got a hell of a wang. <laughs> I think it's a tail, probably, but it's a little intimidating. Steal from the rich and give to yourself. What happens if I just run? It seems like running is probably the most worthwhile. Uh, yes, everyone run. Get the hell out of here. Tries to escape. Does that work? Oh, it gives you a little bit of a head start and I got kind of stuck on that. Uh, can I juke him out around these hallways and everything? Can I close doors or anything on him? Shit. Alright, not... Not going to be worth it this particular time, I don't think. His stinger. Oh my god damn, dude. This time I can actually go for, like, everything. I'm going to go for his shitty looking weak leg. That leg looks a lot worse than most others. And he hacked me right in my head. His stinger is pulsing. Mm, I'm going to chop you right in your stinger. Stinger's usually not what I call it, but, uh... <laughs> Ooh, he missed. Can he also just, like, punch me or whatever? Oh, shit. What am I What am I flipping to see here? Is he going to punch me? But you managed to evade its grasp. Ooh. Grasping seems dangerous. I'm going to try and take out that arm, I think. Ooh, that was a good-ass chop, dude. Lots of damage dealt on that one. Shit. Uh, <laughs> we need to heal up. I don't know what blue wick liquid does. Uh, that's all for sanity. Blue liquid is probably for healing. Maybe red would be for healing. I'm going to try and chop his other arm off. It didn't do a ton. Fuck. Shit. Mmm. I'm not totally dead. You find yourself inside rotten embrace of flesh. Everything is cold, wet, and stinks repulsively. So, oh, maybe the guard just trapped me. You were unable to move. <laughs> Quit breathing. No, hold on. Try and pull through this, because I don't want to have to restart again. That's going to make me feel real terrible. You were unable to move. Quit breathing? Shit! Did I just fucking die again? I apologize, everyone. I'm just... I literally have never seen anything in this game. I've never played it. I, I guess I need to get better. Maybe I give up on mercenaries for now. I'm gonna try a knight. Nice red-headed knight. I want- <laughs> I don't want to name him, uh, Sneak again, cause that, you know, specifically was applying to the mercenary since he was like a rogue type character. I want to rhyme with it. I can't think of a good word that actually rhymes. So instead what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna make Fleek happen. And you guys can't stop me. It's happening. Fleek is a thing. It's probably going to be a different intro for this guy. Jeez, I'm so sorry if everyone is, like, not wanting to see this over and over again. But I think that's... The game's just tough. It's part of part of the deal. You were born with the soul of domination that makes people around you bend to your will. You are a neutral, natural leader, but you might often end up blind to self-criticism. If your birth sign wasn't enough to warrant a future of greatness, you were also born into a wealthy, noble family. I really got it made. What am I doing going into dank dungeons? At an early age, you were sent into training to become a holy knight of the Kingdom of Rondon. Training to become a squire was a harsh school that spared no one, no matter if you were from a noble origin or not. So I'm like barely even a squire, but if you just name your kid Sir, like if Sir is his first name, his Fleek is his last name, people are just going to think that you're already a knight. Nice trick if you ever find yourself naming a baby in the Middle Ages. A practice sparring match between you and a well-seasoned squire took place at the Central Training Grounds. It is said that a fighter shows their true colors in their first fight. This applied to you, too. When you saw the sword coming your way, you quickly stepped aside and dodged it, raised your buckler in defense. I think I'd rather be dodgy. You learned fast dance. I think, I think that's how I would rather play. I would rather... Uh, 
just avoid getting hit often. As time went on, you proved out to be a gifted fighter and a valuable asset in the army of Rondon. However, the kingdom of Rondon claimed to follow the will of the gods in its pursuit for more power. But all the rewards seemed to fall into the laps of the elite and noble sitting comfortably behind the castle walls. Ruthlessly, the kingdom would expand its reign, reducing the feeble citadels to ashes and bloodstains, enslaving the sweet women folk whilst every man is slain. Only sp spare a child or two. That its legend may grow. Your devotion was shaken. You were all but ready to retire from the army, but your family insisted no. They demanded you stay as a holy knight or else you'd bring great shame to their noble family. Let's let's stay a, a noble knight and, and keep our family intact, I guess. Seems like kind of sketchy stuff, but maybe we'll learn some cool like light magic. You swallowed your grief and doubt and decided to stay a holy knight. In the end, you could try to fix things up from the inside, you figured. Your family gave you a gift of 20 silver coins. <sighs> Less than the mercenary. Just as things seemed too dark, you saw a light in the darkness. You met a captain of a small mercenary army who seemed to share the same ill will towards the kingdom of Rondon as you. The common folk were starting to gather around the charismatic leader, Lagarde, who shared the humble origin similar to farmers and villagers alike. There was definitely something otherworldly in his stature. The guard saw potential in you, and with warm words, he almost seduced you to join his band of mercenaries. Thanks to your rigorous discipline, you took a high position in his army. The Knight of the Midnight Sun. Uh, we got a dope-ass title. Your army was grow- so now I'm gonna be Sir Sir Fleek. <laughs> your army was growing fast in both size and influence in the western regions. This guy's backstory is more in-depth. The Kingdom of Rondon would first use your services to their own benefits, but soon saw you were more as a, saw you more as a possible threat to their modern reigns. Something changed with with Lagarde as well. He kept more to himself and studied ancient texts and the cult. He became obsessed with some relics and artifacts that gave you ominous feelings and terrible nightmares. It was almost too much for you when Lagarde decided to reign the northern capital Olagard and slayed everyone who stood in his way between him and the mysterious ancient relic. You never understood its importance. It seems like the guy kind of went off the rails. Maybe he got a little bit of the uh, the madness madness in him. The fear madness, the hunger madness. He got all kinds of madness. It was this small overblow that was enough of an excuse for the kingdoms of Rondon to turn common folks against the guard and justify his imprisonment. As the troops of the Rondon army marched towards your clearly smaller army, you had to choose which position to take in the oncoming uh, encounter. Take the rear and manage defenses, spearhead the oncoming assault. You get an iron spear. Man, I have played many a game where having the range of a spear is very useful. I don't know how that will play out in a game where it's turn-based rather than manual stabbing, but part of me likes having it. You also get an Iron Curus and Arm Guard, so I'll probably be more heavily armored, which is good. The Knights of the Midnight Sun lost the fight. Oh, that was a group. That wasn't just me. I thought I was the Knight of the Midnight Sun, and I was stoked on that. Many of your comrades were slain, but you managed to escape the battlefield. The guard was taken as a captive and to be used most likely on propaganda. You knew he didn't have much time before he would be sentenced to death, so you had to act fast. Even if it seemed like a suicide mission, you decided to save the guard from the prisons he was held in. Before leaving for your desperate journey, you decided to stock up on equipment and items. Mm, more equipment, maybe? Or food? Is the game going to start in a totally different place? That would be pretty cool. Rush straight after him. I want more equipment. I want to be packed to the gills with stuff. Tinderboxes, quill, blue vial. Hopefully, I don't know. That guy's a write-off. What's the point? Okay, we ended up in the same spot anyways. I I'm, I think I'm not going to wait for the, the hounds again. Probably not worth it. So I'm just going to do my usual rummaging. All the, all the uh, what you find in all of this stuff is randomized. Even though 12 coins, that's pretty good. That makes up for how I started out kind of lower. Even though um, the layout doesn't change, at least the contents are random. All right, guys, this is the one. This is the one where we live and and go far and make a difference in this land, you know? A pipe. We can, if we're ever feeling stressed out, we can just smoke up a little bit and we'll be totally fine. Ooh, a page. I have a page and a quill. I could keep a diary for myself if I really wanted. We're going back to tales. Tales only. 
where it will alternate between runs. Boom. This is the one. We're off to a good start. Alchemelia, Volume 1. You can probably learn some uh, crafting recipes and stuff from that. That's my guess. It would make the most sense. Don't know if I want to read it immediately. Mm hmm. Alchemelia, Volume 3. Ah, oh, but I'm not going to have the full story. I'm going to be so lost. <laughs> I better find the second one. A mock-up book. Well, at least we're going to be a very learned knight. Oh, shit, fuck, I didn't mean to run towards him. Terrible. Did not want to uh, get into that so immediately. With swift movements, you gain an additional turn. Dope? I'm going to say use that. That seems well, well worth it. Although we're going to get bashed right at the beginning. Uh, yeah, definitely take out the stinger. I also don't want to get grabbed at all. So... I don't like his slashing, though. Maybe we can take out his slashing arm. Hopefully, if we target that. All right. All he can do is try and grab us. <sighs> Tails. Come on, man. Pull through for me here. Shit. He charges and grabs you. You're grabbed like a rag doll, flung around in a grasp of a giant palm. The prison guard twists your body with a childlike enthusiasm and molding you into unimaginable new shapes. The last thing you hear is a crack. Sir Fleek was defeated! You can just instantly be killed? All of that. After all of that, I just am instant killed. You find yourself inside the rotten embrace, embrace of flesh. Everything is cold and wet. We're gonna crawl our way the fuck out of there. We're not dying again already. Now I'm in level two of the... Blood pit. What the shit? No. That's not normal. That's not right, dude. What shape are we in here? Do you still have items, man? You should chug some things and see if that heals you or something. Because uh, we're not going to survive crawling around like this. Maybe I, maybe I start smoking a little something. Jesus Christ. What is this game? This is horrible. I probably could have crawled that other guy out of here and just didn't even attempt to move. He, well, I don't know. I was getting those dialogues and stuff. Oh, wow. It might still be possible to escape these dungeons. <sighs> you unlocked the cage door. Awesome. Okay. The other one, it was, he must have gotten way more killed way more thoroughly, I guess. Uh, you cannot comprehend the function of these torture items. You take the skinning knife. Ooh, do I do I still have weapons and stuff? What's what's equipped on you right now? Okay, okay, I still have most of my armors and stuff. But like, did Sir Sneak just get killed that much more th thoroughly? He wasn't a Sir, but you know what I'm talking about. Like, he must have gotten mangled. He didn't even have the option to crawl. This guy's weighed down with all his different armors and stuff, and he's still willing to crawl his way out of it. Are, am I missing my legs? I thought I don't I can't tell if he's slithering around or if he's literally missing his legs. This looks bad. This looks like uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna not step on that. I would be curious because just to see what gets activated or what happens, but that looks like it would activate something, and that's not that's not good. Maybe you can just sleep it off. Shit, I really desperately hope I'm not missing my legs. Can I inspect you more thoroughly and see what the deal is with uh, your, you know, body? Hmm, he has more recipes. How do, how do I look through all that? Is this from your Alchemelia stuff? Maybe I didn't actually have to read it to, to learn that stuff. Torn page, it tells of the crow mauler. Ooh. Crow, crow, grow your horn. Vile as snow in the Scarsburg massacre row. Crow, crow, oh why you maul. The meat is fresh and the blood still falls. Crow, crow, are you there? He is coming with nothing to bear. Crow, crow, behind you now. Oh crow, please reap. Oh crow, what I sow. That's creepy. I'm going to be on the lookout for crows. I can tell you that much. Uh, I'm probably not actually going to read this. Blue is for healing. That's good. Uh, green is on open wounds to prevent infection. Red have little to no effect on their own, but when used with others, it is a boosting effect. Okay, cave moss grows in caverns, other areas. It's uh, rich in protein. And here's, here's a bunch of different recipes. So did I learn more, or did those uh, auto... 
I think it auto added those recipes. I didn't actually have to read those books, which is kind of nice because you might, if you're busy or whatever, you might forget. I think I saw an Iron Maiden on the left there. Dried mushrooms. At least we won't starve, but I could really go for some healing right now. Anyone got anything blue other than blueberries? I really need a blue vial if you if you have it on you. I'm going to investigate one of these, and it's going to have an enemy in it. It's waiting for the next poor soul to see its insides. Like, what good was taking the skinning knife? Let me investigate that, actually, and see what it does. Skinning animals and other living creatures. Oh, so sometimes I have to get my own food by skinning things, is my guess? What the shit is... There's a bone saw. What the hell is going on over there? I don't think I want to take that on currently. Not in this state. Uh, I mean, there's nothing else I can really do. I guess I can crawl past it and pretend like I didn't see it. That dude's wang is hanging out. Oh shit, there's another one. Okay, I'm gonna try and leave through the uh, the front door here. If I just keep on crawling, maybe that'll just keep on working Jerry style. Nice. The mist here carries the same odor as the dungeon air. Not nice. More naked dudes with their dicks hanging out. It's probably not going to go very well. It reeks of death inside. <laughs> don't jump down. You, like, don't have legs or anything. But shit, maybe that's maybe that's the way out of this. Maybe I'm just walking myself toward crawling myself towards further death. Like, maybe it's not worth it. Maybe hanging out in this uh, courtyard full of hung people is bad. And no, not that kind of hung, you you guys. I know what you're thinking. Can I can I investigate them at all? Can I like see if they have anything worth taking or like just feel bad for them? Can I sit under them and just be like, I'm sorry. I'm sorry that life was the way that it was. I think my best bet there's also this bug over here. I see it squirming around, and I want to see what that's all about. <laughs> I'm, I'm living on the bugs level. I might as well get to know them. Starting to feel hungry. Oh, I was trying to investigate this bush that it looked like that thing went into. Yeah, I, uh... The hunger's not too crazy. The body, though, the body's not in great shape. Just get, get yourself a little, a little bit of protein. I think I'm jumping down here because I don't know what's going on in that other room, but it seems bad. The stench of death and gore fills the damp air. Well, luckily, all those bodies were able to break my fall. Open it. What was I doing this run? I was on tails. I was on a tails kick, I think. Damn it. Empty. I was hopeful. Why do these things unlock from the inside? It doesn't seem like good... Hey, I I must just be down in the the area like that the the first staircase that I could have went down, where I there was the option between the main area and the staircase. I think that's all where I am right now. Yeah, none of those barrels seem worth any of that. I don't know how much time I commit to searching around in dead bodies and stuff. Is this a rock or like a trigger of some kind? I think it's just a rock. I'm a little wary ever since that time I stepped onto that whirlpool or whatever. I'm scared that more shit like that's going to happen that's going to swallow me up and just end this all. I would love to hit a save point or anything. Anything to keep me going. Lone skeleton, hey? I hear you, buddy. I'm pretty lonely too. No, I'm not jumping all the way down to level 3. Not when it's filled with a bunch of, like, grave plots is what I was kind of seeing. I imagine I'd probably want to find allies and try and level up and not just get totally screwed down here. Luckily, these things don't seem to be able to see. Shit. Well, a jelly-like creature with the worst smile, like an Attack on Titan smile, jumps in front of me. He's got legs. I do still have legs, which is good. A maniba? Maybe it's a maniba? I feel like it's a maniba. Maybe I should have used my uh, my attack twice thing again. But that that itself like costs a, a turn to use, right? So it's probably not worth using right now. So let's try and take out as many tentacles as he can, and hopefully hopefully I could win win one damn battle here. 
I guess rather than going straight for the guards, I gotta level up or something. Train a little bit fighting these stupid things. These gross floating head units. I, I finally killed something. That's stupendous. Now eat it. Eat its body. Search him? There's nothing of value. Shit. I was really hoping it would have like a blue vial or one of those things, you know, that's made for healing. Damn it. Why? I gotta stop falling into holes and shit. Cause it's just, a, this is how you die. Just eat it. You gotta heal yourself or something, man. I, I, I just need you to cram as much shit down your face as possible. Cause like, we're not, we're barely gonna make it out of this anyways. We might as well just try and get a hearty meal on us before we crawl our damn way out of here. This black witch is gonna start firing around us again any second. And I don't know if it, I don't know if I'm on a timer, or if I have to fight this thing no matter what, because I have to fight it no matter what. Then I'm probably boned. Might as well check the barrel. Why the hell not? Well, the 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 why not would be because I think I might be on a timer. This thing might be getting like closer and closer to me. All right, no more stopping investigating, because we're gonna die. I wasted a bunch of time poking around this like sarcophagus grave thing last time. We're just on a run. We're just. just no, don't. I'm slipping around on the D-pad here. Maybe it's always made to stop me from actually leaving the exit, though. Oh, thank God. But maybe I'm cursed forever, you know? Maybe I'm going to keep... That thing's going to keep chasing me no matter what. Uh, I think I'm free. I think I am free. Oh, shit. I thought that's... Could I see myself through there? That was kind of weird. I thought maybe that was where I would go and get... The armor? The armor must have been one room over. So this area definitely isn't randomized. It is the same. Again, it's just what you find is random. Oh, we're getting surrounded by more of these things. And, oh, that the wood planks are in the way. Whew. I kind of got food for days. I'm finding all kinds of stuff digging around down here. You know, this, this crawling pace really makes you stop and appreciate your surroundings. And really gives you the time you need to find <laughs> find things of value, you know? It's a new perspective on life. I'm just trying to be a bit more of an optimist, you know? Oh shit, I can make a vial. Yeah, do it. Do it up. And then heal yourself until you can stand. Hopefully, maybe, still not quite, hey? Nuts. Oh yeah, here's the spot with the armor again. Now we can, now we can maybe try and get some, some extra goodies. Shit. I rolled heads on accident that time, or flipped it, but that's good. I got plate mail. That uh, that might actually be better than what I already have. Nice! Ten extra defense. Sold. Worth it. <laughs> you can still mess this thing up. I guess I wasn't totally, totally done with its pile. Uh, I took its skin for some reason? What's What you got planned with that? Pale skin? Skin from a ghoul! I don't know what I plan on doing with it. I don't know what this guy does either. I don't know if there's any reason to keep crawling around in this gross ass area. I guess I go down to level three, even though it terrifies me and I'm probably gonna die down there. Any of these uh, graves? A nameless grave stands here. The dirt seems somewhat fresh, suggesting it's not that old. Great, great, new graves, that's good. Maybe we just crawl into this one. Maybe we just crawl into this grave and give up. Tombstone here. Here lies Yuho of the Northern Woods. Although he only briefly served in the dungeon, he is severely missed. There's a tombstone here. Here lies Sir Sonya. Oh, I was supposed to do Sir S-E-R. I forgot about that. Her brute strength beat every man in an arm wrestling match. I'm not going to read about all these graves. Let's just, let's just try and get clear here. I'm not going to starve reading about other people who died in this dungeon. I'm going to die in this dungeon if I don't do something about it. This one's open, which creeps me out a little bit. Maybe I can grab some of this moss-looking stuff? No. Nope, it's just regular environmental art. Nothing that can actually be taken. Damn it. This looks promising, though. I don't think there's anything bad going on up here. This is normal. Oh, yep, yeah, I'm boned. If that thing sees me, I'm so dead. So I'm going to avoid that. How would you live this game? Everything looks like it's going to kill me at all times. Purifying Talisman, that seems like it might be good at the very least. I don't know what it will be good for. Keeping pure, I guess. 
Maybe it's not. Maybe I don't actually equip it. Uh, a paper talisman with markings that originate from Eastern sanctuaries. Shit. I thought maybe it would be a, a useful necklace I could wear or something. What is that disgusting looking head on the floor? That looks terrifying and I hope I never have to deal with it. A bizarre creature. The blood is still wet. Bizarre remains, I should say. It's not actually not actually the full creature. He's he's long gone. Explosive vial. Great. I'd love to have a pocket full of explosives. My life isn't dangerous dangerous enough as is. It's uh, I need to spice things up a little bit more than that. I want I want a little bit more risk on a on a regular basis here. At least I can craft another thing. And what's this? What can I make here? If I craft one of these, mix of red and green. Well, I don't really want that. <laughs> the blue vial, blue vials are what I'm all about currently. I might never be able to stand again. Heavy night. Hold it. Just hold it right there. You are sane, I gather. Even if I may seem winded and wounded, I can still pack a deadly blow or two, so don't get any ideas. Who are you? I am Sir Seymour, a knight from the Grand Kingdom of Rondon. I serve my country to the last breath. Just know that. Now that I see the way you're actually supposed to sell, uh, spell Sir, my little trickery of making your first name Sir probably wouldn't fool anyone. But at the same time, I bet the literacy rate wasn't great back in the day. Uh, can I like light a fire here and save up or something? What is it? What are you doing? What happened down here? Are you hurt? You've noticed it. Yes. I got hurt by that bastard over there. Caught me off guard. That thing splurts out acid. Watch it if you ever run into one of them. That big wood golem thing spits acid? As if it wasn't dangerous enough. God damn. What are you doing here? I delve down here together with my comrades. We have a mission to fulfill. The fate would, however, have it so that each of us got lost. I fear for the worst. I was close enough to the right words. Now my priority is to regroup with the Crown Prince, Prince Ludwig Buckman, and with the rest of my party if possible. What happened? Beats me. I have no idea how things are in this shape down here. Any tips? Any tips? You seem like the type that can handle yourself just fine. I'm crawling around everywhere. I do not seem like the type who can handle themselves. Just stay on the defensive side and you might just make it. Whenever you got a bad feeling, guard. It's better to be safe than sorry. Fair enough. I can I can probably deal with that. Probably something I should have been making better use of. Let's see what we can find. I don't care. Heads it is. It worked out for me that one time. So I'll, I'm going with that. Chainmail hood. Maybe a little lighter, but uh, not as strong as what I currently have on me. Oh, starting to get a little hungry. Can't investigate the barrel. A cool crossbow looking thing, though. I can't access the furnace over there either, it looks like. Alright, but uh, what about... The... Ah, it's just a hood. Okay, for sure put that on. Users, great protection. However, it's a little uncomfortable. I don't care, man. You're going to have to put up with a slight amount of discomfort. Can you save this game whenever you want? No. No. I should have guessed not. Doesn't seem like that sort of game, does it? God damn, I would love to save, though, because... I... I don't know what's going on. And I'm going to get my ass kicked. I'm going to try and sneak past. Oh, no, no, no. That big dude. Oh, there he is. There he is. There he is. Shit, 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 shit. <laughs> Come on, man. Ooh, it wasn't even a door. I could slip right through. That's good. I thought I was going to have to fight the door like I did before. More stairs? No. No, quit setting me deeper into this goddamn dungeon. I'm not ready for any of this. I'll investigate very briefly. The prisons. Even the smallest noises echo in this hall. No. No. <laughs> not, not for me. Not today. Somehow the one guy I didn't name Sneak is the sneakiest one yet. He's just slipping past all these dangers left and right, hey? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. This this is kind of it, you know. If the if the blue vial this time doesn't uh, doesn't perk you up enough to to get you on your feet, I think you're never walking again. 
fuck. <laughs> I guess that is somehow the the penalty for for being sent down to that lower world or whatever. You just don't walk anymore. So that's great. That's good to know that that's uh, an option I'll never have again. Good to good to have that out of the way early on. You know, might as well set yourself off on a on a bad foot. Yeah, uh, maybe zero feet. That's that's how I like to roll. Choose the not hard mode, but then make it hard anyways. That's what I really wanted. I'm really loading down with food though, which is uh, a good thing. I'm kind of kind of grateful for the amount of food I'm I'm finding. Pine cones, not so much. I could do without all these pine cones. I don't know why I even bother picking them up at all. I mean, I'm already crawling, so it's hard as hell to carry anything, and we're just lay burdening ourselves further and further with all this shit. So, I would stop picking up pine cones if I was this guy. Someday it might grow into a tree. Yeah, not if it's getting dragged around in my dirty pockets. I'll tell you that much. A small key. A small key. I can totally get myself out of here. Oh shit, that startled me a little bit because I didn't know what the hell was going on. Uh, hello, crow lady. Two dried mushrooms. Is this a save point? Can I start a fire here and save? Maybe, for the love of God, probably, hopefully. Light the bonfire. Is that a save point? Like, uh, save and rest. Oh my God. Yeah, I got a key. I can go and see what kind of good stuff is going on here. No. No, saving is a heads or tails event. That's fucked. No. No. Did I get lucky anyways? Oh no, it's the crow. It's the fucking crow thing that I read about. A terrifying figure is watching you sleep. Do I still get to save? I just, oh. That's such bullshit. I'm glad I saved up a bunch. I'm glad I, I healed, healed a bunch. I'm glad I, oh. All right, buddy. We need to we need to get ready for this. We're going to get mauled. It's going to be no good. He broke something and he just threw a bunch of crows at us. That's good. It's sweet. Thanks. Thanks for all the crows. They clawed at your eyes. You lose your eyesight completely. Good. Now I got no legs and no eyes. You can only see faint silhouettes here and there, but otherwise it's a dark world now. Is that in the when I try to play the game now, is that what's going to happen? I'm bashing your head, crow mauler. But when I walk around in the world now, am I not going to see shit anymore? Can I not kill this thing? It was just misses. I, I'm, I'm just going to miss every time I try, aren't I? Pecked his, pecked his head right off. I don't think you wake up in the bloody world from that shit. I was so stoked I found a place to save. What is this game? Why is it so damn hard and so unforgiving? What the fuck do I do now? Shit. Well, I think it's interesting enough that I want to play more and I want to try again and I want to try and learn and, and do better, you know? Uh, I think probably what I'm going to do is release this as one big long episode and just give people a, a nice big exposure to the game all at once and see what people think of it. And see that I'm bad at it. And maybe we can work together, come up with, uh, strategize a little bit and everything. So I'll, I'll edit this together and upload it before I play any more of the game and just see how that goes. But goddamn, guys. I knew this was going to be hard. I didn't realize you were never going to get the chance to save. I didn't realize that even when you did save, you were going to die some of the time. What do I do? That was, ah, it's cool. It's a cool game. It's just hard as hell. God damn it. Well, thank you guys so much for watching. You'll have to let me know what you think of it. And I'll see you again soon.